all right guys welcome back to the channel this is john gall speaking and this is the btc usdt per trade that i posted on twitter and this is the ether usdt per trade that again i posted on twitter so and let me just do this right so where is the tweet just let me check right so a couple of days back as we saw BTC moving up I had posted this update on Twitter Monday range established so yeah this chart was made on Tuesday let's see where it heads to high chance we see the Monday low get swept today or tomorrow before breaking higher towards range high that deeper pullback will also rebalance all the imbalance created on Monday so the imbalance I'm pretty sure you guys are already aware of what balance and imbalance is right so we saw these impulsive moves higher on Monday right so you can see this gap right there and this gap right there right so these are the imbalances that we created I wasn't sure that Monday high would be tapped or not but I was I was pretty sure that Monday low would be tapped so let's see so I had like the similar expectations from the ether USDT chart right so what I'm going to do is um, let us just move through this move right <laughs> okay so we saw this swing up right this was how the Monday high was created uh, yeah right now we are looking at BTC USDT and we saw a pullback right we are looking at the 15 minute time frame here and the move started to progress and we can see that we have kind of you know established a mini range right there let's see how the move goes again this is the Monday high the red line and the black line that is the range high all right the the macro range high so we are moving through this move we can see that the range is still holding right and this is the 15 minute or a block right there so yeah in case if we dip below this level from here we can spike up right then again since this high was created let me just mark this this high was created right here so there is you know very obvious liquidity here right above this right right above this swing eye let us move through the move we are seeing a lot of uh, sideways movement here right so yeah i wouldn't be surprised to see either a spike up or a spike down but in fact we saw the spike in both the directions right so what is the reason for that all the longs right all the longs that were taken here they had what the sell stops right there now all the shorts that are being placed here have their no not this two they have their buy stops right there right so that is the liquidity that the market is seeking sell stops taken right and this is the order block right holding the price let's see where it goes all right break above it so all the liquidity here taken we have this swing high right there again not so sure if this gets taken or not but eventually we see that it did get taken right so this seemed like the you know final nail in the coffin and now I would expect the price to you know pick a direction so this is gone 
this is gone this is gone and let's see coming here right price starts to move down now we have what do we have right here 15 minute order block right along with it we have something else here this this is what this is the fair value gap right the fair value gap that we created so you know the entry could be taken either on the low of this fair value gap or at the low of this order block i chose this order block because it had not been tested even once right let's see how the move progressed from here keep going up right order filled and now we see where the price leads to right so what you can do is you can you know keep marking these lows to see the continuation of price in the particular direction that you are hoping for it to go right again price is trying to go up cannot go back there uh, let me do this just put it on autoplay and increase the speed yeah I think this is good enough right so again this low broken this was an old low again we create we had created a low here this was broken this was broken right these are what continuation patterns so we can rest assured that the price is going in the direction that we want it to go right then again remove this and this and this we don't need those anymore we have what swing high right there all right and i was actually targeting what the monday low then again on the macro range as i pointed out the range i here on the macro range this was the 0.5 mark or the equilibrium so you know majority of profits should be taken around here right you can let the rest of it run towards what the monday low even you know this is this is the light very very light purple line um, should i call it lilac that's the weekly open right so these are like really important levels right okay this is this is a nice fall going lower going lower trying to come up mark this high right there going below and hits the target right so majority of profits taken here on the equilibrium then we hit both the weekly open and then finally the monday low and it tapped it to the t right exactly there and then the move just progresses further we end up creating these you know short term highs there uh, let me just put it on full speed so yeah that's about it and this is where we are right now uh, we haven't really closed above this level i would like to see a close above it to you know have a bullish uh, directional bias from here uh, i would just rather wait uh, now let's just have a look at the ether usdt perp chart again we are going to do the same thing right so on monday on monday we were able to establish what the monday high the monday mid and then the monday low again uh, the main target would be the monday low right uh, monday mid is also an important level then we also have the previous week low here so you know this this area will be key to the movement of price right so i was as i was looking at this move uh, i wasn't really sure whether it would hit monday low or not because we had the monday mid and the previous week low here 
which could have actually held the price right there okay because these are important levels these are key levels that we should we should be having on our charts so uh, let's just move through the move right uh, I don't know of any other adjective that I should be using so yeah let's just move through the move and we have the Monday high established right there okay and this was this was this was a short term high which got swept right there all right so let's move ahead price trying to go up okay nice one right so this hole this hole this is what this is this is the order block for the 15 minute right this is the order block for the 15 minute chart and we are expecting the price to go lower like much lower so what i would do is i would go to the five minute time frame and first thing you should be noticing is that let me just do this okay so this was a swing high right got taken out here came back this low created what this high swept right here price comes down here this low created this high previous high was swept and then we just come down this is what the BOS or MSB you, you can call it either of it the break of structure or market structure break completely up to you you should know what it means though so we had the low taken bias what directional bias should go down right what happens now price comes up am i missing a tool here uh, right so price should come up and this is what this is the five minute ob right gets rejected here let me just move to the 15 minute here right so we got rejected at the five minute ob and this rejection in turn created what this 15 minute ob right let's go down to the five minute again so we created this 15 minute ob what happens here look at this this was a high this is a lower high again this is a swing high which is another lower high so what are we seeing in the market is a lot of weakness right you just just focus on the uh, should I say uh, price action right just focus on the price action and then price comes lower right creating another low here we have the wrong one right so we had this okay so you can you could have taken like an aggressive entry right there as soon as this ob was created right then again this one more thing from here to here this is what this is the fair value gap right this is the fair value gap which gets tapped right there right you guys can see it this FVG gets tapped right there so an entry could have been made even here right an entry could have been made even here but we chose this one because you know you could have even missed this move and this one was lower so yeah not not that big of a deal the difference is on that big right so let us just move through the move right so what do we see here see this another VOS right so rejection from 15 minute order block and then we come down break this now we can be bearish right because this is a 15 minute uh, market structure break it holds more significance than the one minute or the three minute or the five minute okay keep that in mind so price trying to move up again see 
Again, the price taps what? The price taps this. 15 minute OB, right? Or you could say we tap this one, right? Because now another OB was created, untested. So while this could have been your aggressive entry, this could have been your conservative entry, right? Now you just need to wait and watch where the price heads to. See, three taps, same zone, one, two, three, three times. Price tried to go up, but just was pushed down, right? It was pushed down. What keeps happening here? See, this, this low created this high, this low created this high. Both of these lows got taken out, right? This one got taken out, this one got taken out. Again, number four, tapped again, right? So, this is one of the reasons why you should not be moving your stop losses too soon, right? You should not be moving your stop losses too soon. No, price goes under it again and if you notice this move this happened around the time when BTC did this right so this is just clear manipulation to take out the lows and highs right what's the time here uh, around 1830 1845 around yeah 18 1830 here 1845 19 yeah 19 right so same time you saw this this manipulation right the highs and lows both were taken but you're safe because your stops are right there so it's a good nice spread here and what follows i think you already know what follows because you know the majority of uh, crypto will be following what the same price action as btc right so again it tried to move up could not tap this high or even a stop loss gets rejected again pretty sure from this ob right there it's a very small one right there right gets rejected from there price moves down hits a target right here and finally see the monday low gets tapped and where do we go we hit this this is our macro range right so uh, i'll show you guys see this one let's go down to the 30 minutes so it's it's a, it's a little bit clearer i hope this way so this this was what this was our macro range uh, last time we saw a deviation on the low here right we just tapped it and i think ether is going up now uh, let me check yeah see holding on to it right holding on to it very precise now it's uh, creating this now th this is this is something good this is something good right this is an msb on ether uh, let me just mark it yeah that one so that's the msb on ether which means the direction of the move can change right so let me just move ahead all right so you know maybe maybe a few more confirmations and uh, we can we can start looking for longs here right again this is the 15 minute ob price is holding on to it i would i would really like ether to you know uh, like i marked this high here and this high here on the one hour do we have something not really this is this is this is one one important swing high right so i would really like to see either you know break this swing high hopefully even this one you know go up maybe here and then see it coming down 
uh, think we will have another auto block right here and perhaps then we can start looking for longs right break above this come down break this and keep on going higher to the monday high again right to the monday high again or the previous week mid level right so th these are these are really important key levels that i think you should have on your chart and uh, i did share a pdf uh, regarding this uh, many many months back i'm pretty sure a lot of the guys from the telegram group are already taking advantage of it it's it's pretty simple and if you guys don't already have it uh, you can you can go to the description right you can join my telegram group and you can just request it i will i will uh, pin the message right and you can you can download that pdf from there all right so i hope this was helpful you know this uh, price action analysis and yeah i'm i'm pretty sure you guys will learn a lot i will be doing this quite often right for other pairs as well just let me know if you want me to carry out a certain analysis and i'll do it so that is all i'll see you guys again till then take care cheers